Tyler Jacob Biotish. Shoot, I've known the guy since kindergarten. We used to always call him a big teddy bear in, in high school. Garrett Groshek, he's a really good friend. We've been through a lot together, and it's, it's a special relationship between me and him. We grew up in Amherst, Wisconsin. It's really mostly just Main Street when you're going either to or through Amherst. But once Coach Lucy got into high school, Amherst was starting to be known for its football. Tyler was a leader of that offensive line, there's no doubt. We ran behind him every chance we had. And Garrett led the state in touchdown pass. I think he had 41 his senior year. And then he had like 16 or 17 rushing. My freshman year in high school, I told my coach, I'm like, I wanna, like, I wanna play college football, Division I. Schools were coming in. Minnesota was actually probably the first school to look at them. Iowa was here, Wisconsin was here. And then when Paul Chris came to Wisconsin, I think that's when it really amped up. He jumped on the opportunity, and as they say, the rest is history. By senior year, it was 2015, they were clicking on all cylinders. Garrett ran for 150 yards and two touchdowns. He threw for two more. Tyler was dominant in offense and defense. We won 42 nothing. It was a very special, but also emotional feeling. Garrett, I gave him a hug after the game and, you know, told him I loved him, man. I was like, you know, I'm gonna really miss you. And he's like, I said, the, he said the same thing. I didn't know if that was like the last time I was playing with him. My recruiting process took a couple of visits for some D2 schools. Winona State, they wanted me at quarterback. Mankato had said they wanted me at running back. NDSU had me at linebacker. It was kind of pick what position you wanted to play, and then eventually I was able to get the official visit here as a walk-on, and that was it. <laughs> Tyler tried to hold back a, a smile on his face, but um, you could tell that he was happy that I was coming to the same school as him. We roomed together when we got here at this regent, and and we like studied together because he was a quarterback and I was a center, so we both needed to know the plays, and it was awesome. Towards the end of winter workouts, Coach Chris just came up to me and asked me how much I weighed. And then I saw him leave and go talk to Coach Settle. So I had, right there, I had a pretty good idea of um, what position I was going to be changed to. Almost 10 years that it had been since I had been labeled a running back. Once we made the move, he, he looked at himself and saw himself as a running back. He took that quarterback mentality. He kind of applied it to learn the running back position. Groshek, you got to do a great job now. Downhill, been in the A gap, all right, and reading this thing. After about five practices, I told people, hey, watch, this guy's going to find a way on the field. I think he weighed in at 216, and he plays like he's at 225. He runs with power, he can move the pile, and he has no fear. Right now, we have his own package. Groshek taking the snap and getting Groshek. Nobody on our staff is afraid to see 37 in the ball. Game. We went to a high school football game last night. We left at 10 o'clock. Drove through, got here at 6 this morning. Did you sleep yet? Uh, I got about an hour. <laughs> A good hour, you know. <laughs> when Tyler was young, he always uh, liked to be a Badger, but to see that come true, that's pretty awesome. Good morning from Memorial Stadium in Bloomington, Indiana. Wisconsin Badgers and the Indiana Hoosiers. We are ready for football, so Indiana will bring the offense onto the field. And Richard Lego is the man coming out on the field at quarterback here this afternoon. Lego takes the snap, rolls to his right, looks back to his left, fires the ball to the end zone, and it's caught! Touchdown to Monte Williams! Badgers in a dogfight here this afternoon. Empty backfield for the quarterback, Alex Hornigrove. 
Takes the snap pressure coming. Hornybrook hits. He throws left side. It is caught by Quintez Cephas. Touchdown, Wisconsin. What a throw. What a catch. Badgers take the lead. Here's the snap back. Hornybrook throws it out to Groshek out of the backfield. Groshek turns it up. There's a certain toughness with uh, every run we see out of Groshek. Badgers up by seven and back on offense. Here's Taylor trying to find room to the 30, to the 25, to the 20, to the 10, five, touchdown, Wisconsin. Indiana quickly marching down the field. 14-point Badger lead. Receivers left, one on the right, second and four for the 17. Lego throwing to the right, to the end zone, and flag down, pass is caught. Touchdown, Indiana. Semi Cobbs right side of the end zone and the Hoosiers with a quick answer they make it a one score game again. Indiana still in this football game. Lego awaits the snap and the gun. The pass is intercepted by Joe Ferguson. That is just what you can't allow to have happen. First and goal, Wisconsin at the Indiana one. And the give to end goal again and into the end zone. Touchdown, Wisconsin. Indiana's work is a long way from being done if they're going to have a chance to win this ball game today. Three receivers right, two receivers left on first and ten. Back to throw. And the pass goes off the hands of Timian, and Joe Ferguson gets another interception. And the mistakes pile up, and when they do, you're in trouble. Horny Brook gives it to Groshek. He gets inside the 10. Groshek pulling through and down to the six yard line. Tough two to bring down. Let's see if the Badgers can put this game away. Engold and Groshek, the backfield combination, handoff, Engold, and he is in again. Touchdown. The steam is out of this Indiana football team. Well, the steam is out of the football stadium. Yep. Appreciate all that goes into it, but most importantly, the opportunity to see you guys play and fight through the, the ups and downs of the game, all right? Enjoy the moment. Enjoy the moment. Enjoy this journey that is this season. But hell of a response. Appreciate that. And proud of you. First! Oh, yeah!